Hey, YouTubers. It's Guardian Mike, YouTubers. And we're here at Series 101. We're talking about the guardianship, how do you establish it, the petition, the temporary, the hearing. We're at the hearing, and now we have, we've gone through three objections. I now want to discuss objection number four. Typical objections that happen. You're going along, uh, and you want to help. You filed a petition for guardianship. I'm picking on Uncle Louie. I had an Uncle Louie, a uh, great man. And uh, so you're seeking guardianship for Uncle Louie, and you're at the hearing, and you're expecting everything to go fine, and we have a, a, an objection that is, can be a routine and normal objection, is that uh, we discussed in a prior tape that there's no need for guardian. Let's assume you get past that analysis. Nobody's objecting that you don't have, need a guardian. What you're saying is that you are not suitable. You brought the petition, and you have, you're not suitable. Now, you have to understand that uh, uh, this tape series is to help you prepare. So make yourself suitable. Ask yourself, is there anybody in the family, the kids, the spouse, parents, the grandkids, who's going to come forward and say that you're not suitable? Not suitable is uh, uh, the focus for an entire tape, but right now I want to introduce you that that is an objection, that they're saying that you can have a guardian, but you're not suitable, and they start thinking about a temporary, or start thinking about somebody who's a third-party guardian placeholder because we, need, we know Uncle Louie needs help. Suitability could mean that uh, they could say that you've been mistreating Uncle Louie financially, you've been abusing him physically, uh, that, uh, that you're not properly trained, you just got out of prison, you have uh, in your past uh, misdemeanors and felonies regarding false checks. Now look, you can have a problem, uh, and this is something we'll put out there. You could smoke, you had marijuana 15 years ago, you spent six months or three months in jail for a marijuana charge. I don't think that in my jurisdiction that's a, that's a death sentence to become a, uh, uh, that, that would prevent you. They're looking for, did you pass bad checks? Are you stealing stuff? Mr. Sean, what are your thoughts on a guy smokes a joint 15 years ago and gets convicted of a uh, uh, marijuana offense? Generally, I think that's, that's usually fine in most counties. Meaning they could still establish in most counties for a guardian, right? right. Okay, so these are fears that you have, uh, and be, because count, on balance, what motivates us for these tapes is Uncle Louie needs protection. He needs people that love him and care for him. And I have seen in my practice people wring their hands and they want to help, but they are embarrassed because they have this in their background, and they're going to do a background check on you. I, I, uh, I think you come up front, and, 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 uh, you, and they're going to know what you're dealing with, and then usually the courts are open to... Uh, you don't have to talk about yourself, but uh, you can ask around, have a consult with an attorney and say, look, these are my sins. Can I still serve? I think they're looking for writing bad checks. They're looking for, a, you, if you've been in a fist fight, particularly with the elderly, uh, those are things they're looking at. Do you agree, Mr. Sean? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right, so not suitable. You're going to get a hearing on that. Uh, again, you're at the first hearing. You're going to get a second hearing, uh, which is going to require testimony, it's a mini trial, and suitability. We're going to do a whole tape on suitability. All right.